to the other emails. Okay, so I woke up quite early because of jet lag and I ain't mad about that. I ain't mad waking up early, nobody mad about that. But I'm like in a state of like excitement and nervousness and like just a whole bunch of things for no reason. Like I'm not even doing anything major. I'm not presenting, I'm not performing, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going. And it's such a like being thrown into this really freaking cool environment and not knowing what to expect. That's why I'm nervous because like I don't know what to expect. It's outside of my comfort zone, something I'm unaware of. But I'm so excited to like learn new things, hopefully meet cool people. I'm just, I'm feeling it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I need to go get shoes though for my outfit, so. That's main priority right now. Let's go find some shoes. We are on this journey together, team super family. Hata, high five. What up t-shirt reference son? You know how to rock my Nikki t-shirt at some point. I'm gonna go shopping uh, to find some shoes right now. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I'm so excited to see her live on stage. I don't care what nobody effing say. I love me some Nikki Minaj, okay? I love her energy. I love that she has like a carefree vibe. I know y'all can say a lot of negative things about her. I do not care. I, you know, let me tell you why I don't care. Let me break this down for you. This is gonna be mad sentimental for two minutes. Okay, in the washroom right here, we're gonna have a sentimental moment. You know how some people always comment on the YouTube videos, be like, yo, this ain't real music, this ain't whatever, whatever. People need to realize that all of that is their opinion because like, one day, two years ago, and this is a true story, I swear to God, like two, two -ish years ago, whenever Nicki released Roman's Revenge, I bought that CD, and I remember that day I was feeling really down, I was probably like coming out of depression or whatever. I played her CD, and for whatever reason, it might not have been because the lyrics were so meaningful or anything, it was just for some reason I played her CD, and I remember that first track. You know what, it wasn't even Roman's Ranch, it was like Pink Friday. It was that, that, that song called I'm the Best. I remember listening to it, and it just so emotionally changed what I was feeling. Like, it cha like, I remember feeling so much better. Something about the beat, something about her attitude and the voice, something about that song just made my day so much better. And I'll always remember listening to that CD for the first time. For me, yo, her songs have, like, done some ish. And I don't know for what reason. Just the overall vibe she has, like, has done some stuff. So, like, I dig you, Nikki. I will support you. Barb's for life. No worries. Bad man things. I need to go find some shoes now. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki! We're at Buchanan Street and look, look at all the MTV EMA signs. So excited. This is mom. No. <laughs> there you go. This sweater right here, I thought it was cute. So I checked the price. It's 128 pounds. This sweater is 128 pounds. I don't care how much money I make in my life. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> like, really and truly. Be smart, common sense, people. You don't need to worry about brands and expensive things, honestly. Just know what you like. Even if you like stuff that's expensive, bomb. And if you like stuff that's not expensive, bomb. But just don't buy things solely on brands. You don't need to do that, trust me. One day, I told mom, like, one day, if I ever become really famous and I have to walk a red carpet, like a really big, important one, I'm gonna wear a onesie. I'm gonna make a statement wear a onesie. And when people ask me what am I wearing, I'm gonna say Walmart. I'm wearing Walmart. I'm wearing a onesie. That's my goal. Mark this, mark this day. One day I'm gonna wear a onesie on a red carpet. Until then, I need to go find some shoes and be a lady. Yo, so the coolest thing just happened. So rad. So this whole entire street, we were just in the shop and the whole entire street literally shut down for two minutes and was completely silent um, for Remembrance Day. Like the, all the shops turned off the music, all the shops, everyone inside went quiet, everything just went quiet for two minutes for Remembrance Day. So rad, I love when like, there's that like pride and like passion about things. That's really cool. Um, also, I have to say, I was reading the comments from yesterday's vlog. I owe an apology. I understand that Lucky Charms and Leprechauns are not Scottish. I know this, I promise. Um, my stopover was in Ireland, so it was a miscommunication. So when I was thinking about my trip, I'm like, oh, I have my stopover in Dublin first, and then I'm going to Scotland. So in my brain, I'm like, oh, I'm going to Ireland and Scotland. So when I said that stuff, I think I was subconsciously thinking about Ireland. I know that Leprechauns and, and um, Lucky Charms are not from Scotland. So to all Scottish people and Irish people, I apologize for that confusion. I love you, Team Super, don't kill me. Oh my god, the EMAs assume, the EMAs assume is literally everywhere. Everywhere I look, it says, welcome. Look for, for example, I'm vlogging right here. There's a sign right there that's talking about the EMAs. Um, every store is like, welcoming EMAs. It's just like, I'm so excited. What would happen if I was actually someone important? You know what I mean? And not just like, pretending to be someone important. <laughs> I'm getting my hair did. I'm so classy. I think I'm also eating my hair. Yo, 
so I'm back home. Um, this girl's real cute. My hair is totally gonna fall out by the time the show starts, so I'm gonna have to go there and get someone to re kind of do and touch up my hair. I'm gonna get ready, just put a base of makeup on, and then go there and someone's gonna do my hair and makeup, and hopefully my nails. We didn't get time to do nails. I'm just, this, this is what I do. This is what I do. Why did I just do my nails in advance? Why did I leave this until I, I don't know why I do this. There's no time. I am going to charge all my devices right now. Ugh. And like, maybe lie down for a few minutes. We all know this is a horrible idea and I shouldn't do it, but. And I slept in, and run away, and bring track bands to the EMAs right now. And we're gonna get this all solved as soon as I get there with my hair, and my makeup, and the dress, and the, let's just forget, hope I didn't forget anything. So whatever's on oh, the Oh, you screen. press on yes. the screen. So it's recording? It's recording us. But if I go like this, how I record them. So this is the camera, not this. Don't get This is just to watch. This is the camera. Put this in the vlog. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the vlog because I know many people are like think they're recording me, and I'm standing over there. And I'm like, no, this is recording. Me. Awesome. Got it. <laughs> What's that? Wonder Woman. Lily sings. Superwoman. Damn, girl. Oh my God, I was on red carpet ready, though. So <laughs> my nails done. The nail lady, she laughed at me. She literally laughed. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. <laughs> So we got three people working on my hair right now. My red carpet time got moved up, so now we're in utter chaos. This is what chaos looks like. At least I'm wearing fabulous rings. I borrowed these rings from them. There was another one I wanted, but Ariana took it, which I guess is more than acceptable. <laughs> you got this. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Gold on. Oh, oh, smacking holes. <laughs> Alright, so the show is about to start. We are heading to our seats. It's called the Glam Pit. Crossover between Glamorous and Mosh Pit! <laughs> Award for best song. Who's it gonna be? One. How do you Thank feel? you. Phenomenal. This is the coolest thing Isn't I've ever so seen. Isn't it so cool? Okay, but so I'm so fascinated by it. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. I consider myself a unicorn. Oh yeah. Okay. I if, yeah, me too. Oh, me too? What color would your unicorn tail be? Lavender. Lavender? Yes. No one has ever responded with lavender. Really? What's yours? Slit. Pink. Fuchsia. Sweet. Sweet. I Sweet. see that. Yeah, you see that, right? I see that for sure. <laughs> this guys. is so weird. It's weird, right? Oh my god, I hate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, my Slay. fellow unicorn. Slay. 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 Yeah. So I'm back in my hotel room. So many thoughts are going through my brain right now. What is my life? Well, we're gonna talk about this tonight. I had to come home. The after party's happening, so I have to head to that. I changed into my combat boots because like, yo, my feet was broke. My feet were hurting so badly, so. Um, but we're going to the after party now. Eh, I'm not gonna take my vlogging camera, but I'll take my phone. Hopefully, it's just, I can't care. There's nowhere to put you, and I don't wanna drop you and lose you if I get turned, you know what I mean? I love you. Um, and yeah. <laughs> what is life? <laughs> 
I'm back from the after party. Today was surreal. I don't get it. My brain doesn't get it. I don't get it. I didn't meet Nikki. I didn't meet her. This is literally like the second or third time I've ever tried to meet Nikki. Once back in the day, I also went to a club and like waited hours and hours to meet her. I didn't meet her. But it's okay. She's worth the wait. I'm a huge Nikki fan. I will wait and wait and wait until the day I get to meet her and take a selfie with her and like become homies with her. It's fine. Everyone I met was so super sweet. And I'm going to go back to my point of when you hear crap about people, do not believe it about them being rude or stuck up, do not believe it, until you meet them firsthand. I met Ariana, she was so sweet. I met Ed, he was so sweet. I met so many people who are so sweet. I'm confused. I feel like I cannot properly address this day because it's too overwhelming. I need to sleep on it and address it tomorrow. I don't get my life. I mean, this whole after party, I've been mingling with MTV people. MTV is on my vision board. Like, I don't get my life right now. I actually, the entertainment industry, is crazy. Experiencing things firsthand, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Seeing Ariana, the way she interacts with people, seeing the way that Nikki interacts with people, seeing like their business strategies, seeing it all firsthand, it's just, it's crazy. I'm so incredibly privileged and I just, the main thing I take away from today is that you all have legitimately changed my life. If you told the five-year-old version of me that I'd be able to go to the EMAs in Scotland, I'm in Scotland. If you told me this, I'd be like, shut up. I just genuinely want to say, like, you guys... You guys have given me, like, my entire life of dreams that I've ever dreamt of and, like, things that are beyond my imagination you've given to me. And I want to spend the rest of my life being grateful to you. I swear to God, you guys have given me... I'm at the EMAs. You guys are tweeting me saying so proud of Super. I'm at the EMAs. We made it like that. That stuff means, like that means something to me. You guys believe in me and you guys are there for me. I just can't express enough gratitude to you. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You're phenomenal. I'm really emotional right now. I've had a phenomenal day. I ain't talk about this tomorrow because I, I'm just going to start crying. You guys are amazing. You've made some girl's dream, some girl who's been through depression, a girl who, who's been through so much stuff in her childhood and like who wanted to at one point take her life when you guys have given her all this stuff. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. So, I just can't even address you guys right now. You guys are amazing. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you do like it, subscribe. Bye. Yeah.